Oh, I now have so much respect for anyone who gets up at 6am every morning. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to a little review of the 2017 F1 Australian Grand Prix. Yes, the season is now underway and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little video called 60 Second Thoughts and uh, yeah, just sort of give my, uh, give my opinions on uh, what I thought of the first race of the season. So the plan for this video is to go through three different talking points and have 60 seconds to uh, just sort of summarise the race, go through the big talking points and then give my race rating. What I'd like you guys to do down in the comment section down below is comment your race rating out of 10. So uh, yeah, just literally 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, whatever you thought of the race, comment it down below. And uh, yeah, why you thought it was uh, maybe a good or bad race. Also, let me know whether you'd like to see more of these opinionated style of videos. But uh, yeah, apologies for my voice. It's still very early in the morning. I've got sort of some notes in front of me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first 60 seconds to summarise the race starting now. So... Yeah, in summary, not really much happened during the race. Not a lot of overtaking, but starting right from the beginning, uh, Daniel Ricciardo in his home race had an electrical issue on the way to the grid. He didn't start on the grid uh, and then ended up retiring when he did get going due to an engine failure. So, uh, yeah, right from the beginning, when the lights went out, Vettel was right on Lewis Hamilton's tail, even though the Brit led into Turn 1. The field spread uh, out pretty early on. There, there weren't really too many battles. Uh, there were sort of a couple of seconds separating each car. Uh, but Hamilton... Sorry, yeah, Hamilton uh, had Vettel right on his tail and come the time of the pit stops, Vettel managed to jump him. Hamilton got stuck in a bit of traffic behind Max Verstappen, could not get past him and Vettel eventually went to the chequered flag without any issues and beat Hamilton by about 8 seconds, I believe. Hamilton, towards the end of the race, was dropping back into the clutches of his teammate Valtteri Bottas, who nearly managed to pass him at the end, but obviously there was not much overtaking. And uh, yeah, that is it. In 58 seconds, that is how boring the race was. I didn't even need the whole minute. <laughs> On to the big talking points of the race then, starting now. And I think it's fair to say that Ferrari have got the pace over Mercedes. And for the first time in the hybrid era, it isn't the Mercedes who are actually on top. And yeah, it's the first time that they haven't led the drivers or constructors standings. Uh, Red Bull, I think it's fair to say, are a little bit behind the, uh, the front two teams. Um, obviously, we didn't really get to see Ricardo's pace, but Verstappen, who was very, very capable in that car last year, uh, just couldn't even get near uh, the, uh, the, the Mercedes and uh, Vettel. Uh, Williams, Force India, Toro Rosso all scoring points. Uh, so yeah, Toro Rosso definitely back up uh, at the sharper end of the field this year. And well, Roman Grosjean, he probably could have got some points, but he blew, well, literally blew his chance at getting points by having a blown engine or, or else the Haas probably could have got into the points. Also shout out to Fernando Alonso, who did retire in the end, but he was, you know, definitely up there as a candidate of, for driver of the day. He had a very good race in the McLaren in a car, which, let's be honest, it is not competitive one bit. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm doing it right on these. I've probably missed out some massive talking point in the race, which I just haven't covered at all. But, uh, yeah, finally, just give my race rating uh, in, a, in a minute. Well, I, it doesn't need me a, a minute to uh, read a number out, but I'll just sort of give a little bit of justification for it as well, starting now. So, I've given the race a 3 out of 10, which, um, I don't know, maybe I've been a bit harsh, but... Obviously, the, the one good thing about the race was it is fantastic to see Ferrari, uh, you know, taking the, the battle to Mercedes. And for the first time, as I previously mentioned, in the hybrid era, there is a team other than Mercedes which looks as if it can win a title. Um, apart from that, there's not really too many positives from the race. Uh, I'm still a little bit sceptical about the 2017 cars. You know, with these new regulations, it's going to be very, very difficult to overtake. But I don't think we should judge the cars just on this race solely. Um, obviously, last year, it wasn't, it, again, it isn't traditionally a good race for overtaking. I've, I've already said it on Twitter. Give, give it four or five races, then we can judge what these cars are like. Obviously, it's fantastic to see, uh, you know, them, them quicker, looking really, really good on track. But we do want to see overtaking. Hopefully, that will come. But for now, I'm going to have to give the race a three. <laughs> So yeah, that just about concludes the uh, the video. Obviously, it's still very early in the morning. I, like I say, I've probably missed that one massive talking point. But yeah, that's what your guys' job is down in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on the race. And uh, yeah, whether you want me to, want to uh, see me do this more. But uh, yeah, for now, guys, hope you enjoy the, uh, your, the rest of your Sunday. I'm going to go back to bed now. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye. 